Hey guys, Super Retro Kid here. So today I got a really cool package in the mail. Um, this is the uh, Open MVS. Uh, it's a new uh, project uh, to uh, consoleize the Neo Geo MVS. And I thought I would unbox it and kind of show it to you guys and see how it is. I haven't opened it yet, so let's take a look here. Just gonna move that out of the way for now. So, <clears throat> I saw Retro RGB's video on this and thought that it looked so cool that I hopped on it immediately. And I think, I think I'm one of like six people, it was either six or seven who like got this immediately. Um, they actually ran out of MV1C motherboards, so right now they just sell DIY kits. Uh, this is by a company that called uh, Taytok Labs. I don't know, but uh, this is a nice little box it comes in. I wonder if this is a... So this looks like it's tape. Pretty cool little tape, though. And... Uh, I actually, once I saw RetroRGB's video, I immediately sold my consoleized MVS because my consoleized MVS had what's called a J-Rock board in it. And I don't know enough about this stuff, but I know that these J-Rock boards that do the video output are kind of generic boards uh, that aren't supposed to produce the greatest uh, video output. So... I mean, my, my MVS was always fine, but I saw this and I think that, uh, you know, I, I immediately saw this as being an upgrade. Uh, another thing that I really like about this is my old MVS uh, did component S video and composite. And this one can take uh, HD retrovision component cables or the, uh, Rad 2X Sega Genesis cable. So I kind of like the connectivity options of this Open MVS. So let's see here. So inside of here, got a pretty sweet little sticker. Smaller, sleeker, sharper. Open MVS. And then I did the completed kit here. And one of the things that I did was I opted for the upgraded power supply. So I think I have a laptop style. Uh, okay, well, I thought I was getting a laptop style. Something might have got confused here because they gave me they gave me the uh, power cable like they were doing the laptop one. But then they gave me the brick style, or like a like a regular one. So I actually might have to contact them about that. But at least I have one where like I can use it right now. And there's another sticker in here, pretty cool. So I, I suppose they probably just dropped the wrong stuff in the box there. Then in here is my MVS. So I'm just going to put this power cable off to the side. And I'll put this. So this is the open MVS itself, which I opted for a blue one. So I opted for a blue one with a white power LED. Let me make sure it's in frame here, perfect. So, this thing's pretty pretty sweet. There's some imperfections, but it's not too bad. You've got the two uh, Neo Geo, I think they're DB15 ports up here. And you've got a power and a reset. And then on the back, you've got power and a Sega Genesis 2 style connector. And then 
I assume to open it up, you probably take these feet off. I don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to open it up. But what's cool about this is like you can take this Rad 2X, the Rad, the, this is the Rad 2X Sega Genesis Model 2 uh, adapter. So like let's say I wanted to play Neo Geo on an HDTV, I can just plug the Rad 2X cable into the back of my Neo Geo. And this Neo Geo is supposed to use a really, a really good video board so I can plug this guy in and then this will line double the 240p Neo Geo game to 480p and output it over HDMI so that's sweet and then another thing I can do is I can take the HD Retrovision Genesis Model 2 connector or Genesis Model 2 cable and I'll put RGB or component. So I could do 240p component straight to a CRT through this connector as well. And they're supposed to be using a really good video circuit in here. Another thing I did was I opted for the uh, Mobius Striptech DFO. And what that does is it's like a, it's like a mod that makes the Neo Geo's slightly off uh, refresh rate like more standardized for like scalers and modern TVs. And then another thing was in the retro RGB video, they talked about the ports and how the ports would be a little too deep for some of your arcade sticks and stuff. But I've got a Neo Geo CD controller here and that seems to fit perfect. So that's good. And then let's see, I also opted for the Unibios 4.0 in here just to have all the goodies. And then I've got my Neo, my Neo SD Pro from Terra Onion. This is the MBS version, comes in the sweet case. And this baby should fit in here perfect. Mm, there we go. So that looks nice. See what else is there to say about this? Um, another thing is there's this guy, a uh, retro frog, who he's selling a little cover for your cartridge slot when you're not using it. And I ordered one of those too. This is just a little 3D printed cover for your consoleized MVS. Let me fire that up. Yeah, it looks nice. The build quality is good. So here is a 3D printed cover from Retrofrog. So that just goes in the cartridge slot when you're not using it. OMVS for Open MVS. And that's really all there is to it. So this guy I think was $405 with all of the with all of the upgrades I did. And to put that into perspective, the consoleized Neo Geo I had before this, they originally go for 600, six or 700. And I had bought it for like 400 and something used. So I, I then turned around and sold that one for, I think like 300 and then I bought this for 405. So, I don't know. I think I think it's a good value for a consoleized MVS that gets that's going to get great video output. is compatible with a lot of things. It's professionally built. The real expensive part 
is getting the Neo SD Pro. I think these are like $600. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm excited to fire it up. So this is Super Retrocade and uh, my overall impressions is this is really sweet. And you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you. Hey guys, so I've connected the OpenMVS with my uh, uh, consumer uh, TV here, uh, CRT TV. And how this is connected is this is connected with the uh, uh, HD Retrovision Sega Genesis Model 2 uh, cables. Uh, doing components into the back from the uh, back of the MVS into the uh, CRT. So I'm just going to hit the power button here and kind of show you. So it's going to boot up. And it's launching my Neo SD Pro. And then I'm able to go in here and select different games. So I'm going to select... Uh, Let's see, let's do empty, empty, empty. Let's see. Let's do uh, Spin Master here. Or Shock Trooper is a good one. Let's do Shock Troopers. And we'll use that RAM slot so it loads more quickly. Yeah, so this is the open MVS and I have that white LED well, that white power LED so theoretically this would work the same way with a with a Genesis model 2 rad 2x on a HD TV or you could use these HD retrovision component cables and you could uh, output to a scaler like the OSSC or the uh, Retro Tink uh, Pro. So I'm just going to hit the select button to insert the coins and hit start. Choose my player here. I'm gonna go for an all arounder. Yeah, the video the video looks good. I actually do think it looks a little better than my than my previous consoleized Neo Geo. My understanding is this is pretty much as good as the Neo Geo can look. I mean, the only thing is uh, the Mister probably looks a little better since it's since it's being upscaled to 1080 and it's all digital in the digital realm. But I like the. Uh, I like uh, using the authentic arcade hardware here. See what that let's see what that other button does while I'm playing. It looks like it took me into the settings menu. Let's run a hardware test here. Cross hatch. Yeah, I've already uh, pretty much calibrated this CRT, so it's pretty cool to see how good that is. Cause that looks like, I don't know, that looks pretty much perfect to me. And then it's just going to go back to my menu probably. Nope, going back to the game. So, I'd say the Open MVS is, pretty, is probably the best option for Neo Geo at this point if you're uh, looking to just get into it. Um, either that or a mister. I mean, the, the value proposition of a mister is pretty hard to beat, but if you're looking to play on real hardware, I'd say the open MBS.